Hey, good morning. It's MTB Pro slam slash review time. I'm gonna put these baits through the paces out here today and see how they stack up. So I'm gonna tie some things on and get going, put them through their paces, and then I'll see you off the water and we'll do a full review on everything. Let's get to it. bait ball crankbait things working really good looks like those little bait fish that they're chasing another one on the old bait ball crankbait All right guys, just getting off the water and wanted to give you my, my opinions and thoughts on everything in the Mystery Tackle Box Pro for the June version right here. It was something I noticed different when I first got my box this week was I, I learned that uh, got a new kind of setup on the, the card here. Uh, they actually give you all the, the list of the baits and everything, the prices and whatnot. And then you can go on YouTube, watch reviews, uh, check out you know how the baits work, um, and go online and kind of see more details about the bait. So you got that card in there. First of all, let's start off with the Live Target Yearling crankbait. This is a cool crankbait right here. I've gotten another Live Target crankbait in my Mystery Tackle Box, liked it, but the particular lake that I was at today, you know, I tried another Live Target crankbait on those fish and it was loud. This one, no rattles. So I was really excited to see that because these fish out here, they, they like a little bit more finesse crankbait. And this one in particular, it's got a, you know, a mix of, it's a cluster of little bait fish. And this one kind of looks like little baby carps or something, I'm not really sure, but it's got a kind of like a golden color and it's, uh, it's translucent, you can see through it. So I like that for this uh, stained water. It was just a good color overall and caught a lot of fish on it. When I first started throwing this, got into a little school of fish and they really wanted this crankbait. I've thrown a lot of other crankbaits at them and they wouldn't bite it, but the ones that have no rattles, and in particular the size shad that they were feeding on, they were small, they really like this crankbait. So definitely gonna keep this one around and, and bring it out whenever they are on schooling fish, um, whenever they're on small shad schooling, it's gonna be really good in the fall. Can't wait to throw this one. All right, next up we got the Rapala crankbait. This is the scatter wrap right here. The thing I noticed about this scatter wrap is it's just super erratic. I mean, that's the point of it. That's what it's supposed to do. The main thing you wanna look for in like a square bill crankbait is that hunting action, you know, going back and forth, those random kickouts. That's what really makes a good square bill. This does that basically for you, um, but it's super erratic. So what I notice is if you reel this thing too fast, it'll actually spin. Um, but if you reel it at a medium speed, it does that random kick out that really gives that nice presentation, that random presentation. Now, I didn't catch any fish on it because it's, it's more of a crawfish color. This would be a color I throw in the spring, this kind of dirty green craw um, with a little orange on the belly. I mean, fantastic color in the spring, but you know, right now with the fish being on shad really hard, I didn't catch any fish on it. But if this would have been in a shad color, I guarantee you I would have caught them. Um, it's got basically no rattles, um, really good hooks on it, and that unique lip, that's the thing that makes that bait unique. So Rapala is known for making really good crankbaits. This is no exception. If you want a, a square bill like crankbait that gets that action, 
this is a cool one to keep in your box. Okay, next up, the BD series, which stands for Boyd Ducket. This is a great place to throw a frog where I was fishing today. Had a few bites on it, they just weren't connecting. It's kind of usual for the lake I'm at. Um, but the frog itself is good. You know, one of the first things I noticed, it's got rattles in it. It allows you to A, cast it farther so you can really get it back in those holes. Um, the body shape on it is really good for walking or uh, just bobbing. And those weights are really good for that bobbing action too. It just lets the bait kind of sit at a kind of downward position towards the back and lets that front slap the water a little bit. So I like that about it. Love the black color. The body is super soft on this thing. It's very soft, so I imagine the hookups would be pretty good. Um, the hooks are kind of narrower than what I'm typically used to. They're a little bit closer together, so you know I'm not sure how that would work out on a hook set. And the body is so soft that it actually shifts around a little bit. But the main thing is, you know, if you're working this thing through cover, it's coming through it. Um, one of my frog tests is I'll run my, my finger over the top of the frog and see if I can get hooked. It just barely starts to snag my finger. So that's pretty good. I would, I would call that good. Just a frog you can cast a mile back into the cover. So really cool. I'm definitely gonna catch fish on this frog. Didn't today, um, but I like the, the BD series frog. If you can walk a frog right out of the box, you know, no modifications, that's a good frog. Okay, next we got the standout a drop shot hooks. This is actually the first hook I ever used when I started drop shotting. I don't know how many years ago. So I, did, I wasn't really sure how to rig up a drop shot and this just makes it really easy for you. Very simple. Uh, it's got a good hook on there. Uh, I, would, I would say Texas size drop shot hook. It's a little bit thicker gauge than maybe your super finesse style uh, drop shot hooks. But the cool thing is it's got this unique bend in the hook and that allows you to tie your line directly to there and then run the line through the, uh, your more typical line tie. That goes straight down, you tie your weight on, and that makes that, that hook stand straight up. You know, that's the thing with a drop shot. You gotta have that thing stand straight up, give a good presentation on it. Uh, and this allows you to do that really nice. It comes with uh, three in a package. You actually get one red one, which I thought was interesting straight out of the package, easy to use drop shotting hooks. If you're looking to get into drop shotting for the first time, I would say this right here is what you need to go with. That's what I went with back in the day. All right, next we have the Bubbling Shaker by Rains. I've gotten this in my mystery tackle box before. I can't get enough of them. Please send more of them because this bait is just an absolute fish catcher. I love the ribs on it. I love it for a drop shot. What I actually did today was I rigged it up on that stand-up uh, drop shot hook, and it's just a perfect presentation. You know, I was on some some bass that were kind of kind of schooling, but you know they were on that crankbait bite, and then they started kind of sitting on the bottom. So I broke out a drop shot and a shaky head, and you know my first cast with drop shot, just shake it down there, boom, it's done. I mean, this bait is just it's a fish catcher, that's what it is. So the Rain's Bubbling Shaker, awesome bait for shaky heads, drop shots. Uh, you can rig it weightless, you can put it on a Carolina rig. There's all kinds of things you can do with it, but bottom line is it just catches fish. All right, that's it for this month's Mystery Tackle Box Pro Edition unboxing and fish session. Uh, make sure you go check out Mystery Tackle Box's YouTube page. You can learn uh, more tips and how to's and get a little laugh action in there. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the Lake Fort Guy channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch y'all later.